We had this boat with a 351 Windsor in it, and it was running fine for the most part. And we had this plumb, this uh, this line that we plumbed out and put a put a filter cap on it to uh, have the blow by go out of the engine instead of back into the air cleaner. And this one day, all this gray sludge is like coming out of that that breather cap, and we're like, oh, this is not good. And it was right when we were shooting basic engine building, and we had a Chevy and we had a Dodge in that in that video. And we're like, well, let's put a Ford in too. So pulled the 351 out of the boat and we got it in the studio. So first thing we do is pull the carb and there's this kind of milky oil in the plenum under the carburetor. And we're like, okay, well, obviously there's some water getting mixed in with the oil somewhere. And it was getting sucked through the PCV valve into the plenum. So we start taking things apart and the distributor comes out and there's this, there's this ice cream looking stuff on the gear of the distributor, okay? pull the fuel pump off and the fuel pump lever has got that same stuff on it. So it's like in the engine everywhere. So start really taking it apart. We, uh, <laughs> and we pull the valve covers and there's just stuff dripping and hanging. Intake comes off, same thing. The whole lifter valley just like filled with this, this mocha milkshake, right? It was just like everywhere, like built up in volume. So as we're going through all these pieces, pulling things off, we're looking at gaskets, we're looking for cracks, we're looking for easy, spot, easy to spot damage, everything's fine. The, uh, there's no signs of gaskets, we're leaking water through the water jacket into the oil areas of the engine and, and everything's checking out, so we just keep digging deeper, pulling things apart. And when we pull the, we pull the oil pan off, the whole oil pickup tube was just it, everywhere. Every bit of every space inside the crankcase was just like, this water just kept feeding in there and the crank is whipping it all up and just mixing it with the oil, right? And it just frothed it and it turned it into this, this cappuccino milkshake. We take all the pieces in the machine shop and the machine shop magnafluxes everything. One of the cylinder heads were like, this thing's done. It's externally, it's all damaged, it's bad. So we didn't check it any further. Every other piece checks out, it's fine. No cracking, no damage to the gaskets. There were no easy signs of water leakage from the jacket into oil areas. And we're like, what happened? So then we finally go back to that one cylinder head we were gonna throw out and we looked at these plugs that were inside under the lifter uh, covers or under the, the, uh, the uh, valve covers. And they were steel plugs that were supposed to block off the water jacket, but this was a freshwater boat that we put in the salt water and ran it for five years. Everything else was fine. These two little brass plugs corroded because the salt water was getting taken through the intake in the bottom of the boat. It, the water gets circulated normally. Fresh water would get circulated through the engine and then spit out the exhaust. In the end, you could pretty much rebuild anything. Uh, we just uh, replaced the one cylinder head and the whole entire rest of the engine, every piece got rebuilt, new bearings, new pistons, uh, new rings, and that engine went right back in that boat. We drove it to Catalina, 20 miles in the open sea and back, had a great weekend. And uh, it's still running these days.